like it anymore, Cole. You're letting it consume you. What would you have me do? Just buck up, move on. How dare you talk to me like that? You act like this is your tragedy. I lost a child too. Yeah, and I'm like you. I'm not ready to bury him yet. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Shirley. The exact question I was asked on the Way Home Fans and Discussions Facebook group was, why do people get angry with each other when they're grieving? And the simplest answer is because they are there. What I mean by that is not some kind of menace or conspiracy to hurt the ones closest to us, but the ones closest to us, both physically and emotionally, are also the ones to rub against our grief the most. Think about being bruised or wounded. Everything that touches that spot hurts, right? Grief is an enormous emotional wound. For a while, it takes all of us. And everything that rubs against it hurts immensely. One great example from The Way Home is in the seventh and eighth episode of the first season, when Colton, played by Jefferson Brown, and Dell, played by Andy McDowell, have these fights. Cole, Cole, I miss you. You don't talk to me anymore. And I feel like I'm the only one who hasn't forgotten him. I haven't forgotten him? I think about him constantly. I can't take it anymore, Cole. You're letting it consume you. What would you have me do? Just buck up, move on. How dare you talk to me like that? You act like this is your tragedy. I lost a child too. Yeah, and I'm like you. I'm not ready to bury him yet. Each of them is thinking that because the other person doesn't grieve the same way, Colton tries to fix it, and Dell tries to hold on to what's left from their life, is criticism about their own style of grieving. Each of them thinks the other is trying to pull them in a different direction and thus pulling back. So what can we do better? In the captions, I'm going to put what Dell and Colton are actually saying to each other in these two sentences. I miss you. You don't talk to me anymore. And I feel like I'm the only one who hasn't forgotten him. It's the exact same thing. And if we can lean into vulnerability and hear that and say that, then instead of fighting when we are in pain, we can support each other while in pain. Now, it is easier said than done, which is why if you find it hard to lean into your vulnerability, please go and find help, a support group, therapy, somewhere safe where you can do that so you don't add fighting to the pain you're already experiencing. As usual, I am very curious. As to your opinions and your experiences, please drop them in the comments. I promise to respond to each and every one. If I can support you in your grief, please drop me a line on my website and I promise to get back to you. Thank you for watching and make this a wonderful day.